one hour is 60 minutes. And because of this, we can have the following fraction, one hour divides 60 minutes. And that is equals to one. Because we divide into numbers that are equals. And whenever you divide two numbers that are equals, you get one. So that is the unit that we get one. You can also have 60 minutes divides one hour. And guess what? This fraction is also equals to one. Now, <clears throat> this implies that these two quantities are equals, but <clears throat> we're not really worrying about whether or not they're equals. What we're worrying about is when to use this quantity or this quantity, okay? And let's do an example or some examples to see uh, when we're gonna use one quantity or the other quantity. Um, let's say that we have five hours, okay? And we wanna convert that into minutes, okay? Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply the five hours by a fraction, which is gonna be either this one or this one, yeah. So it's gonna be either this fraction or this fraction. And what I wanna do is I wanna get rid of hours. And the way that I get rid of hours in math is I have hours at the bottom of the fraction, meaning now I'm gonna have hours right here. And you can see between these two quantities, the one that has hours at the bottom is this one. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use 60 minutes, divide one hour. I'm gonna use this quantity. And so when I multiply these two, whatever result that I get is gonna be in minutes because these hours and these hours are gonna be gone. They're gonna be canceled each other out. So I'm gonna have five times 60 minutes is 300 minutes. So that's how you use uh, those fractions. Uh, let me give you one more example. Let's say we have 30 minutes and we want to convert that into hours. Okay, well, again, I'm gonna multiply the 30 minutes, right, by a fraction. And it's gonna be one of these two fractions up here. So there it is. And what I want is I want to I want to get rid of the minutes, so that means the minutes are going to be at the bottom of the fraction, and um, the only one that has that uh, um, quality is this one up here. One hour divided sixty minutes. So I'm going to write down one hour divided sixty minutes. There you go. So that when I do this multiplication, I cancel out the minutes, and I end up with the hours only. So I have thirty times one divided by sixty, which is just thirty divided by 60, right? And it's gonna be an hours, an hours. Now, the main purpose of this video is to show you how to work with uh, hours and minutes. And so I'm not really gonna worry about teaching you how to do these divisions. Uh, if you want, I can do that in another video. But if you know how to do this, you know 30 divided by 60 is just half. Uh, and half is the same as 0 0.5 hours. So in other words, 30 minutes was turned into uh, decimal five hours, and five hours was turned into 300 minutes. And we did that by using either this fraction or this fraction. Whichever one that you're gonna use is gonna depend on if you're using hours or using minutes, because it's gonna be at the bottom. See, this minutes is gonna be at the bottom of the minutes, so you use this one. In this case, you have hours at the bottom. I mean, because you have hours up here, you have hours at the bottom, so you're gonna use this fraction right here. Anyways, so um, let's move into when you have uh, hours and minutes together, okay? Let's say that you have five hours and 30 minutes, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna turn that into minutes, okay? Uh, the way you do that is, well, this part is already in minutes, so you don't have to worry about that. But this hours, they have, they need to be turned into minutes, okay? If we want to turn everything into minutes, what we need to do is basically turn the first part, which is hours, into minutes, and then add it to the minutes, and we end up with minutes. So we already know that five hours is 300 minutes by using this, uh, by using this fraction up here. In other words, 
this five hours is 300 minutes, right? We already did that before up here. And those 30 minutes plus 30 minutes, those are the 30 minutes. So if we add this, we're gonna have 330 minutes. 330 minutes. And that's all you need to do. So pretty much five hours and 30 minutes was turned into 330 minutes. Okay, now, um, what if we want to turn everything into hours? Okay, um, in that case, um, let's say that we have five hours, 30 minutes. You see, the hours are already hours, so I don't need to worry about hours because they're already in hours. But minutes are in minutes, <laughs> I need to turn that into hours. So the way I do it is, again, I already did it up here. Um, you don't worry about this guy right here you only worry about the 30 minutes. And the 30 minutes was worked up up here, uh, we turn it into hours by using uh, this fraction, right? And so you're gonna have five hours, that doesn't change, right? Because it's still hours, but the minutes are turned into hours and that, that's gonna be plus decimal five hours. I know sometimes it's hour or hours, doesn't matter, you know, as long as you understand what you're doing. So five hours, plus decimal five hours is just 5.5 hours, 5.5 hours. So in other words, five hours and 30 minutes was turned into 330 minutes, so it was turned into 5.5 hours. Simple, right? Okay, uh, let me get another sheet of paper. Let me show you something else that I wanna work. Um, every minute can be turned into an hour by dividing by 60. In other words, you can have one minute is the same thing as 1 60th of an hour. So in other words, one minute was turned into 1 60th of an hour. And you can do the same for two minutes, three minutes, and so all the way up to 59. So you can have two minutes is 2 60th of an hour, okay? And like I said, um, let me just do one more, uh, three minutes. It's gonna be three sixtieth of an hour, okay? So it's a fraction of an hour. A minute is a fraction of an hour, that's all it's saying. And so you can go all the way up to 59. Why 59? Because if you go into 60 minutes, 60 minutes is gonna be one hour. But 59 minutes is gonna be the same thing as 59 divided by 60 of an hour, okay? So. It's equals, they're all equals, they're all equals, okay. Anyways, there's something important that's happening here that you don't quite see. And that is that every six minutes, uh, you're gonna have a decimal uh, of an hour. In other words, um, let's say six minutes, right? F let me just separate this like that. Six minutes is the same thing as six divided by 60th of an hour, right? If we follow this pattern right here, we're gonna get, we're gonna get this. The six is gonna go on top, and it's gonna be 60, divided by 60. Divide 60. Um, anyways, because <laughs> I don't know how much you can understand, um, so I'm trying my best. So six divided by 60, if you do that with a calculator or you do that with the division, you're gonna get a decimal one hour. And if you do that with, if you add another six, so every six, okay? So you're gonna have 12 right here, minutes, or you're gonna have 18 minutes, and so forth, all the way down to, uh, let's say, uh, 54 minutes, and then 60 minutes, okay? Um, so 12 minutes is just gonna be the same thing as 12 divided by 60 of an hour. So pretty much what, whatever number is up here, or right here, is the one that goes on top of the fraction. And um, there's gonna be decimal two hours. See, like in this case, you have an 18. I don't even have to do any math. I just write down the 18. And then at the bottom, I'll write the 60 and then the hour, because I'm turning minutes into hours. And that's just decimal three hours, okay? Um, anyway, so let me just do this for, uh, to finish the pattern. This is gonna be 54 divided by 60th of an hour, right? And uh, that's nothing more than decimal nine hours. And you already know that 60 minutes is just precisely one hour. You can even write it down as like this, 60 divided by 60 
uh, of an hour, you know, 60 divided by 60, two numbers that are equals, you get one. So you're gonna get one hour, okay? So just wanted to, um, just wanted to point out that this actually comes from here, but this is a shorter version. The, um, see, right here, um, you, uh, I wanted to show you that every six units, you have, you increase one decimal in an hour. So you have one decimal one hour, decimal two hours, three hours, and so forth until you get one hour. Um, this is just like an introduction so we can start working on, um, on some problems. Uh, and let's do that right now. Um, um, okay, let's talk about um, military time. And the reason why I think it's military time is important is because I think a golden rule is just to turn everything into military time and then do math on it and that'll be better. Uh, the reason why is because let's say that you have uh, five hours, okay, five hours, and then um, you subtract three hours from that, you know. Say you, say that you started uh, doing, washing your car at 3 p.m. or whatever, and you finish at 5 p.m., how long did it take you? Well, you just do a subtraction, you know, and you can say five hours minus three hours is just two hours. That's simple, right? It's just two hours, okay? Um, but how about when you have, uh, when you have uh, p.m. and a.m.s, let's say that you have uh, 5 p.m. and then you have to subtract, let's say, uh, 2 a.m. See, um, I know that you probably, um, it's wrong just to say 3, um, just to say um, 3. 3 what, you know, that will be wrong. You know, if you do that subtraction, that will be wrong. Uh, in other words, what you have to do is just turn it into military time. So, so 5 p.m. will be uh, 1,700 hours, 1,700 hours, and 2 a.m. is just going to be 0, 200 hours, 0, 200 hours. And now you can do a subtraction between those two, and you can say uh, that's 15 hours, right? If you do if you do that subtraction, it's just 15 hours. And so it's just a golden rule. Uh, like in this case, you're just talking about hours. So right here, you're just talking about hours. You don't even care if it's AMs or PMs. But over here, you're talking about time. And uh, there's a difference between hours and times in a way, right? Because in time, uh, you're dealing with PMs and AMs. Um, and so you have to uh, you will have to turn it into uh, military hours to uh, have it easier to work with it. Um, let's say, uh, see, here's a quick example. See, 2 p.m. minus 2 a.m. The difference is not zero, even though they have the same numbers, right? Because the 12 hours difference in between those two hours. But anyways, so military hours, um, we can start with uh, 12 midnight. Midnight. And we can say that 12 midnight is nothing more than in military time. We, we're going to write down military time here. Mil military time. Military time. We can say that 12 midnight is just zero, zero, zero hours, okay? Now, it's also acceptable to say that it's 2,400 hours. So it's just it's also the same thing, 2,400 hours. Um, I myself choose zero, 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 zero hours, okay? So you can choose 2,400 hours if that's best for you. And so now you know that as you start moving forward every hour, you're gonna have, uh, let's say, um, 1 a.m. It's just gonna be zero, 100 hours. That's simple, isn't it? Uh, 2 a.m., same, easy. It's just gonna be zero, 200 hours. Forget my writing, I'm just going too fast there. Um, and so forth until you get to 12 noon. I know it's also 12 p.m., but you know, 12 noon. Um, when you have 12 noon, you're gonna write down um, 1,200 hours. 1200 hours okay and then after that you move into the pms 1 pm and the golden rule here is that you have to add 12 so 1 plus 12 is just 13 1300 hours okay and uh, likewise if you go to 2 pm uh, you can say 2 plus 12 is 14 so you have 1400 hours and so forth you know, and so forth until you get, say, um, say you get 11 p.m. It's just going to be the same thing. You add 12, is 23. 
2300 hours and that's just um, that's just it okay <clears throat> let me get another sheet of paper here Let's, uh, let's do some problems here that involve subtraction. Okay, subtraction, subtraction of time. This is the real meat, okay? The other one was just introduction in case you didn't know. Um, so let's let's have an example here. Let's say example number one. Let's say that you want to subtract, uh, let's say, uh, from 5.18, you know, you could say 5.18 p.m., uh, 4.18 p.m., so it's a subtraction. So it's like saying you started doing a job at 4 18 p.m. and you finished at 5 18. How long did it take you to do that job? Well, if you do the subtraction, it took you one hour, right? But the rule is uh, you just deal with the uh, minutes as numbers, you know, eight minus eight is just zero, one minus one is just zero, and then the two dots, and then you have five minus four is just one hour. So that's just how you do it. Um, so let's do another example. This is gonna get a little harder, I think. <laughs> uh, let's say that that job you finish at five nineteen p.m. or five nineteen, and you started the job at four fifteen, and so you want to do a subtraction to find out how long did it take you to do that job. Okay, so in this case is you know nineteen minus fifteen is just four, but don't write just four, write zero four, right? Because it's a two unit number, and then the two dots, just the two dots, nothing happens there. 5 minus 4 is just 1, so it took you 1 hour and 4 minutes, right? Okay, let's do another example. Let's call that example number 3. Let's say that um, you started at 418, but you finished at 1017. So you finished at 1017, the job, uh, but you started at 418. How long did it take you to do that job, you know? I'm not even worried about PM, so I am just doing this. So you do a subtraction again, but in this case, as you notice, um, you're gonna run into negatives, and that's fine. Just don't be afraid of the negatives. Yeah, see, uh, 17 minus 18 is minus one. So you just write down minus one or minus zero one, you write zero one. It's just two, two units. Uh, if you were to write minus one instead of what I just did, minus zero one, perfectly fine. As long as you understand that that's just one minute in the negative. <laughs> okay, fine, fine, fine. So th those are the two dots right there. And you have 10 minus four is just six. So we're not used to seeing this, right? Uh, we're not used to say, well, it took me six hours and minus one minute. But um, what that means is that you can break down the six into, into as follows, five hours plus one minute. I mean, five hours plus one hour, because these are hours. So five hours plus one hour is just six hours, right? I haven't changed anything, I haven't done anything, it's just still the same. Um, and this still stays as minus one minute. Okay, so what you can do here is you keep the five as it is, five hours, and that one, when you move it to the other side with the minutes, because that's one hour, it's gonna turn into, into minutes, it's gonna turn into 60 minutes. There you go, 60 minutes minus zero one minute. So that's easy, right? You just broke down one from the six up here and move it to the to the right with the minutes. And so it turned into 60 minutes, one hour. So if you do this subtraction right here, you're gonna have five hours and 60 minus one is 59. So how long did it take you to do that job? You know, if you start at 418 and you finish at 1017, it took you five hours and 59 minutes, simple. Okay, okay, let's do one last example so we can move from subtractions. Let's say that you have, uh, let's say that you uh, instead finish uh, 918, but you start at uh, 441. You know, that's weird numbers like that. And you want to do a subtraction of that. Well, the first thing, don't be scared <laughs> because, you know, you just you just work with the numbers. If they come negative, they come negative, and then you deal with them, okay? Like, Nine minus four, it's just five. Nothing changes there. There's the five and the two dots. You can work from the right, you can work from the left. Like before I was working from the right up here, you know, dealing with the minutes first, 
and then here I'm starting from the left dealing with the hours now so nine hours minus four hours is just five hours so how about here 18 minus 41 how does um, see this is nothing more than a subtraction right here so all you do is you find the difference and the difference is 23 but you're gonna keep the the sign of the highest number in absolute value it's just the golden rule and subtractions um, see the difference between 18 and 41 is 23, right? So you write down 23. But is it positive or negative? Well, you're gonna keep uh, which of the of the 18 and the 41, which is high, which is biggest number in absolute value is 41. And what sign does 41 have? It has a negative sign. So you're gonna keep the sign of the highest number in absolute value which in this case between the 41 and the 18, the highest number with absolute value is the 41. And so you have minus 23. It's just a fancy way that I guess they say is minus 23, right? Just in case you get confused, just find the difference and keep that sign of the highest number in absolute value, period, move, move on. Okay, so we don't want this. We wanna have everything in positive. So like we did over here, where we broke down the six into two hours, like five plus one, we're gonna do the same thing with the five. We're gonna write down four plus one. Nothing changes with the minutes, right? I just kept in the same. The only thing I did was broke down the five into four plus one. Okay, so now again, I can keep the four right there on the left as hours. And But when I move the one to the right with the minutes, I'm gonna turn that into 60. 60 minutes minus 23. So now I have a difference here of 16 and 23. And um, what is 60 minus 23 is, uh, what's, what's that, 37? So we have 37. So if you start a job uh, 441 and you finish a 918 and you do a difference to find out how long did it take you to do that, you're gonna find out it took you four hours and 37 minutes and that's, all you have to do is subtractions. Uh, of course, you know, we're dealing here with hours, we're not dealing with time, but if we were to be dealing with time, all you do is you turn it in everything into military time and do the same thing that I just did work with the subtractions, you know? So let's say that th this is 4 a.m. and you finish uh, 9 a.m., well, it just stays the same. Had it been from 4 a.m. to 9 p.m., right? So you turn everything into military uh, military hours, which is going to be 21, 18, and work with this. In other words, you can add just 12 to this. You know, so it's going to be 16, 37. But anyways, um, I think it's more important to know this, how to deal with this. Let's let's um, do addition with 10. Uh, addition is just simple, but uh, you know how I'm subtraction, I was breaking down the hour and moving it one hour to the right in minutes. And so in addition, is the other way around. You break down minutes and bring it to hours. Anyway, but, uh, let's write down here addition. Uh, let's say that um, you um, you start something. You want to add this two hours, five twenty and two thirty. Just an example. You want to add them. Well, that's simple. You just um, twenty plus thirty is just fifty. Write down fifty. Um, the two dots right there, five plus two is seven. And so there you go. So that'll be something like if you start at some job at 5.20 p.m. and it takes you two hours, what time is gonna be now? It's gonna be 7.50 p.m. It's just an example. Um, okay, let's do another. So this, there'll be example number one, there'll be example number two. Uh, we can say now, let's say we wanna add five hours in 30 minutes, we want to add it to four hours, 35 minutes. Okay, the thing to do here is just, you know, add the hours with the hours, which is nine. Five plus four is nine. And the minutes with the minutes is 65. If you add them together, so you get 65. But see, we now, that is not normal to say nine hours and 65 minutes. We can uh, break down the minutes uh, as follows. We can say nine hours into 60s, um, so we can have 60 plus five, or zero, five, whatever you're comfortable with. Anyway, so you can say uh, this 60 minutes is one hour when it moves to the left. So that's gonna be nine 
plus that one hour, zero five. See, it's this, this zero five right here. So nothing has changed. All I did was just turn that 60 minutes into one hour, which is right there. That's all I've done, nothing else. And so now you can add them together and you can have 10, zero five. And that's all it is. So 10 hours, five minutes, okay? Let's do a quick uh, example here, number three. There's not much to do with addition because it's, it's adding is always kind of simple, right? Simpler than anything else. Um, so let's say we have one hour, 45 minutes that you want to add to two hours and 45 minutes, right? So I can start from the right, adding minutes first, or I can start from the left, adding hours first, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna start from the left. One plus two is just three. And then the two dots. And then I can say 40, uh, 45 plus uh, 45 is just 90 minutes, you know, but 90, 45 plus 45 is 90. Okay, now like I said, uh, you can bring down the three again and break down the 90 into 60 plus 30. So you're breaking it down into 60s, whatever is on the right. If you can, you break it down into 60s. If you cannot, then just leave it alone. It's just what it is. And so when you bring this 60 minutes to the left, it's gonna turn into hours as follows, three plus one hour, 30. So once again, I'm, I, have not, I, have, I haven't done anything here. All I did was those 60 minutes that you see right there was turned into one hour when I moved it to the left. And so I can add it to the, to the three hours so that I get four hours and 30 minutes. And it's just that. So if you add those times, you, this is the result, right? Likewise, over here, if you add 530 plus 435, this is a result, 1005, and self-explanatory, right? It's just what it is. Okay, so just a little recap here before I move into uh, multiplication and uh, division in time. Um, so when you have, like, say, five hours, 30 minutes, you can always break down the five or the hours as four plus one and leave the minutes as nothing changes. And then when you bring that one hour to the right, it turns into 60. So you can have that as four hours, the two dots, and then the one becomes 60 minutes plus 30 minutes that are already there that you have to add. And so that can turn into four hours, 90 minutes, right? So all, all I'm showing you here is that you can break down the guy on the left, the hours, into uh, one plus four, you know. Um, and likewise, when, um, let's say this is another example right here, um, you can also break down the minutes into uh, hours. Uh, you can have uh, three hours. It's, this is a recap of what we've done. Um, you can have uh, into 60s. 60 plus, you know, it's gonna be 15. So uh, that 60, when it comes to the left, uh, it's going to turn into one hour, which is going to add to the three. So that three is going to become a four. So you can turn that into four, and that 60 is gone, right? Because it added with this three. So now I end up with the 15 only by itself right here. So it's just 415, and that's all there is to do with that. Okay, let's now work into, uh, let's do the back of this sheet to work into multiplication. <laughs> um, multiplication, uh, the brute golden rule is just turn it in, uh, everything into, you can, you can turn everything into hours or minutes. See, I like hours, so if I'm given a time, I'm gonna turn it into, uh, I'm gonna turn it into uh, hours. But let's just say that um, for multiplication, uh, let me see. Let's say one hour, in 30 minutes, okay? And you wanna multiply that by four. That'll be like saying, oh, it takes me an hour and 30 minutes to wash my car, and I do that once a week, so how long, I mean, how much time will I spend in one month just washing my car? Well, you have to multiply it by four. And so you can say four times an hour and 30 minutes, right? Um, you can multiply, um, corresponding numbers. What that means is you can say four times one is just four, and then the two dots. And four times 30 is 120. And we end up with the result where you can break down into 60s, right? 
you can say, well, that's four, that's the two dots, 60 plus 60 minutes. And you know that each 60 minutes is one hour, so you can say one hour plus one hour, and add it to the four is six. So you can get six hours, six hours total. Or you can write down six, zero, zero, right, whatever. Um, so with multiplication, uh, let me see another example. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's do this concrete example right here. Um, let's say example number one. I like to number my examples. Um, let's say that it takes you 45 minutes to cook, or you know, to wash your car, just whatever. Um, once again, how long will it take you? You know, if you do that once a week in a month, it's gonna be. It's gonna take you four four times longer, right? You gotta multiply by four. So four times forty-five minutes. Just an example. Um, so if you you know if you multiply this, you get one hundred and eighty, uh, and that'll be minutes, one hundred and eighty minutes. And that's that's all there is to that, right? Not nothing much. Uh, Let's do example number two. I think this one we can relate to it. Uh, let's say that you run uh, every day for 30 minutes and you wanna find out how much time you spend in a week running. Well, you have to multiply times seven. Now, like I said before, the best thing is to convert everything into hours. You can convert into minutes, uh, but I prefer to convert everything into hours, you know. So in other words, you can convert those um, using, you know, you can convert those 30 minutes into hours. And I would do that as follows. 30 minutes, you're gonna multiply that by a fraction so that you get rid of the minutes and you end up with hours, right? And that means the minutes is gonna be at the bottom and hours is gonna be at the top. And the quantity that relates that is one hour and 60 minutes. Why am I doing that? Because I wanna get rid of these minutes right here with these minutes right here and I want to end up with hours on top. So you're gonna have, you know, you can use a calculator, like I said, because I'm not really teaching you how to do fractions, but rather the process, you know. Uh, you're gonna have 30 divided by 60 of an hour. Uh, I feel kind of bad saying use a calculator, but you know, for the sake of time, I mean, I can show you, but for the sake of time, if you do this division, you end up with uh, half, half an hour, which is, consistent, 30 minutes is half an hour. And so you can say that uh, in a week, in seven days, you multiply half an hour that you do every day running. So it's gonna be um, 3.5, right? 35, I was thinking, 3.5 hours. So if you run every day, half an hour in a week, you put in three and a half hours. That's, that's all there is to it. And like I said, uh, you could have worked this one too. You could have turned 45 minutes into uh, into hours and do the same problem right here. Because like I said, we're using a calculator. So this this quick example, just the minutes in two hours. I mean, we're gonna keep the same. We're gonna have right here four, which is that four right there. And then this 45, there's the 45, which is minutes. But you wanna turn it into hours so you can have a fraction and minutes is gonna be at the bottom. Why is it gonna be at the bottom? Because I wanna get rid of these minutes at the top and the only way I can get rid of these minutes at the top is by having minutes at the bottom. And so the quantity that relates minutes and hours is one hour is 60 minutes. And so you can see that these minutes are gone with these minutes and you have um, you have this, this, this quantity right here, like 45, like that. You got rid of the minutes, and then you have one over 60. And whatever result you end up with is gonna be in hours. I haven't done anything. See that four is, this four right here is this four, that 45 is that 45, and this 1 60th is this 1 60th. I haven't changed anything. And if you do this with a calculator or, you know, 
4 times 45 is 180, and then divided by 60, you get 3, right? 180 divided, 4 times 45 is 180, and then multiply by the fraction 1 60th, you get 3. I know it's in hours, sorry, it's 3 hours, right? Which, which is consistent with 180 minutes. Right, 180 minutes is three hours. Anyways, let's move to uh, example number three. Example number three. Uh, let's say that you spend studying, studying, um, an hour and 15 minutes, something normal. It could be 100, an hour and 20 minutes, but let's say, uh, so I can make it a little harder, <laughs> um, an hour and 15 minutes. See, we... You, <clears throat> And the question is gonna be, oh, let's say, if you study every day that much time, and you wanna find out how much time did you study in a week, what you're gonna do is also multiply by seven, an hour and 15 minutes by seven. And um, you can work, you can multiply seven times one, and then the two dots, and then seven times 15, and then turn everything into hours or minutes, however you wanna deal with them. But like I said, the golden rule for me, the brute force is just turn everything into hours. Okay, so what I would do is um, I can say, uh, let's see, they have one hour and 15 minutes. I want to turn that into hours. Um, da, da, da. Well, this one hour is already in hours, so I keep that one hour. But this uh, 50 minutes to turn into hours, because it's 50 minutes. I will multiply by a fraction so that I have at the bottom minutes and I have hours on top. And that will be one hour divided by 60 minutes. And when we do this fraction, uh, we're gonna get uh, um, 25, or decimal 25, decimal 25. So that'll be um, decimal 25 hours. So we have we have one hour plus decimal twenty five hours, which is if you add them, it's just one point twenty five hours. One point twenty five hours. Um, so in other words, the multiplication that I had up here of seven times an hour and fifty minutes is going to be seven times an hour and twenty five minutes, right? Uh, I mean hours, hours, hours. So in other words, I'm dealing with hours now. I'm not dealing with minutes. I'm not dealing with anything else, just hours. And if you do this multiplication, seven times 1.25, um, you're gonna get um, eight decimal 75 hours. I hope I'm not confusing you here. All I'm doing is just, you know, turn everything into hours and multiplying it, you know, nothing special about that. However, um, you can finish here if you're comfortable with this. You can turn it, you can turn it back into minutes. You know, uh, seventy-five decimal seventy-five hours. How many minutes is that? You know, I know the hours is just gonna stay as it is. It's eight hours, but the decimal seventy-five hours. I have decimal seventy-five hours. See, I can multiply that um, by a fraction, so that I turn it back into minutes. So I want minutes on top and hours at the bottom. And we know one hour is just 60 minutes. And so now I'm multiplying decimal 75 times 60. I, I'm getting rid of hours right there. I'm gonna end up with minutes. Whatever quantity is gonna go right here is gonna be in minutes. So decimal 75 times 60, uh, is, uh, what's the, I think I need, I need my calculator here. Just really quick. Mm. Decimal 75 times 60 is 45. It's 45 minutes, right? This is 45 minutes. That's um, that's all there is to it. I mean, I just did a multiplication. Anyways, uh, doo -doo -doo. I think I think we're finished with multiplication. There is not much to do. I think that the real meat comes in division. And let's move to division now. Oops. Let's move into division. 
Mm, let's see, let's see. Let me write down up here so I don't forget what I'm talking about. <laughs> Division. Okay. Um, let's do two examples with this and that will cover everything, I think. Um, let's say that you work 80 hours. 80 hours every two weeks, right? Like most of us, I guess. But you want to divide that into 50, 15 days, right? Because technically, technically, anyways, you want, you find yourself that you want to divide it by 15. I don't want to spend too much time talking about why, why not 15 days. What is the answer to that? Okay, um, you can just get a calculator and divide that and you're gonna get something like this, 5.33, Three is never gonna end hours. Okay, and you wanna find out how many hours and minutes is that? No problem. You can say that's gonna be equals to five hours. Why? Because there is a five up there, so it's five. But how about this quantity decimal three 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 never ends? Well, that quantity decimal three 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 never ends hours. Right, that quantity you can turn it into minutes. How do you turn something into hours into minutes? You multiply by the fraction. Which fraction? A fraction that's gonna have hours at the bottom and minutes on top. And that's gonna be 60 minutes and one hour right here, like that. It doesn't look really that good. But anyways, two hours, cancel out with this hours. And if you do this multiplication, you're gonna get 20 minutes. So you can write down right here, 20 minutes. So you can see how if you divide 80 hours by 15, it doesn't matter what, 15 days, 15 people, whatever. If you divide 80 hours by 15, you're gonna end up with five hours, 20 minutes, okay? Um, just something that I wanna point out, some people get confused thinking that five hours and 20 minutes is the same thing as 5.20, which is not. Um, just convert into uh, minutes to, using this fraction. Anyways, uh, let's see. Let's do one more example here before we finish. Let's say that you're given this quantity, 264 hours and 22 minutes, right? I could have written this down as 264 hours, 22 minutes, but I did it on purpose like this because sometimes you find it like that. Don't get confused, you know, you can pull out a piece of paper and if you're not comfortable with this, writing the hours and minutes like this, you can always write it down like this. Uh, but once again, the golden rule that I have and that you should have, I guess, if, if you don't feel too comfortable, is turn everything into minutes or turn everything into hours and then work with it. I, like I said, feel comfortable turning everything in two hours, and uh, that's what I do. Um, let's, uh, let's do that then. So once again, 264 hours is already hours, so I can just uh, leave that there, 264 hours. Nothing changes, I mean, because it's, it's in hours. But the minutes, because I want to turn them in two hours, I got to deal with them as follows. Uh, right here, look, um, 22 minutes. I'm gonna multiply that by a fraction so I can turn them into hours. So that I have minutes at the bottom and hours on top. And we know it's gonna be one divided by 60, right? We've been doing this all along, this video. So minutes cancels out minutes and I have a 22 divided by 60. Um, if, you do, if, if, you, if you do this division 22 divided 60, you know, which which is this, you're gonna end up uh, with this number, decimal three, six, six. You can use your calculator, you can see you're gonna put this number, a six that never ends, and it's gonna be in hours. Okay, fine. So in other words, because these are hours, the 22 minutes, you turn them into hours, now you can add them to the 260, 264, so you can have now 264 decimal three, six, six that never ends, hours, right? So in other words, you, you turn that 264 hours, 22 minutes into just hours. Nah. And now, if somebody were to say, well, now divide that by 30, 
you know. You can see how daunting if you never deal with this it is. If they say divide this quantity into 30, into 30 days, let's say those many number of hours and minutes divided into 30 days because I want to know how many hours I, I should allocate every day, you know. And so you can see, it'll be like, whoa, how do I do that? Well, now you know, you can just um, first write it down so you don't get confused in two hours and minutes and then convert everything in two hours. And I end up with everything in two hours right here, right? And now I can, I can use a calculator to divide by 30. And if you do that, you're gonna get a quantity which is gonna be, um, is it gonna be, uh, let's see, eight decimal, Eight, one, two, two, a two that never ends. See, a two that never ends. Don't even worry about it. Just write as many two as you feel comfortable with. You know, don't, don't, don't bother. Just hours. Um, so if you divide this number of hours into thirty, you end up with this number. But what does this number mean? That means that's for that's gonna be per per day. You're gonna work. You're gonna have eight hours and a fraction of some hours. You can now turn those fractions of hours into minutes. You can say, ah, oh, okay, so it's gonna be eight hours. And what about that fraction? You know, what about this number right here? Zero decimal eight, one, two, 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 that never ends. Well, you want, and those are hours, right? Now you can turn that back into minutes if you want. If, and so you can say that, well, I'm gonna multiply that by this, this quantity. I'm gonna have hours at the bottom so I can cancel out the hours. And I end up with minutes. So if you pull out your calculator and you multiply this quantity times 60, you are going to get the number, what's that? You're gonna get this number like 48 decimal 7333, a number that never ends. But see, you have minutes. So you're gonna have minutes right here. Minutes. In other words, this this nasty number, I guess, because <laughs> it's kind of weird, right? It's big. You turn that number by doing this into eight hours, and then this number right here, minutes, forty-eight decimal seven three 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 three. That never ends minutes. But now what you want to do is uh, you want to work with this. Uh, you you can either live it like that or, or continue. And the reason why I say live it like that is because um, you just want to find out how many minutes and you're in minutes. But now we're going to turn into seconds, unfortunately. Um, and I did that on purpose so that I can show you something. I'm going to show you that. Um, so you can say, you can say that's eight hours again. That's 48 minutes, right? That's a fraction of minutes. We can turn that into seconds. See that number is zero, uh, decimal seven, three, three, that never ends minutes. I'm gonna turn that into seconds. I didn't bring that up, uh, this before, but you, you can also do it the same as the fraction that we were um, working before. You know, where we have hours and minutes, or minutes and hours, doesn't matter. This is the same thing, but now we're dealing with minutes and seconds. And I wanna get rid of minutes, so that means I'm gonna have minutes, minutes at the bottom, I can write down minutes right here and I'm I one seconds so I can write seconds that the symbol for seconds just the s so I know the one minute has 60 seconds see and so that gets rid of the minutes like that they're gone you end up with seconds and if you work this out in your calculator or with pencil and it's gonna take a long time but um, you are going to get um, 44, 44 what? Seconds. I hope I'm not confusing you here too much. It's just, I'm just repeating what I'm doing, but instead of hours, I'm doing it with minutes, and instead of with minutes, I'm doing it with seconds, and, you know, but it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Fractions, multiply by fractions. Okay, so you are going to end up with 44 seconds, and that's it. So you see how, when you divided this number up here, 264 hours and 22 minutes into 30 days, let's say those number of hours, you came out with eight hours, 48 minutes, and 44 seconds. 
and you can finish like that you can just leave it alone but if you're not comfortable with seconds because you're like oh i only get paid by minutes not really by seconds you know well <clears throat> remember because you were dividing by 30 days that means that every day there is eight hours 48 minutes and 44 seconds on the first day see on the first day on the first day on the first day you can write that down first day you're gonna have eight hours 48 minutes and 44 seconds on the second day the same thing on the third day the same thing and all the way down until you get to the 30th day you're gonna have the same thing eight hours 48 minutes 44 seconds okay but something that you can do is um you can store the seconds you can put them away remember you have 30 times those 44 seconds you, you can you can get rid of them you know meaning you can store them so that on the first day you only have eight hours and 48 minutes zero seconds on so forth but see those seconds add up to minutes and if you work this how many minutes that is well 30 times 44 seconds is it's um what would that be 1320 seconds um don't worry too much about whether or not the math is right you know i'm just trying to show you that those seconds you can turn them into minutes you know once again by using the fraction you know um the fraction where you have uh, 60 seconds at the bottom and one minute on top um and when you uh, pretty much sorry I'm, I'm gonna rewrite it right here i know it's getting too cluttered uh 1320 seconds multiplied by the fraction of one minute divided by 60 seconds so you get rid of seconds and whatever quantity you get is gonna be in minutes so that's gonna be um what's that gonna be Um, let me get my calculator really quick, okay? <laughs> 1,320 divided by 60, 22 minutes. 22 minutes. Um, so those 22 minutes, um, you can you can keep all the, the days. Like the first day, you can keep it as 8 hours, 48 minutes, second day, and so forth. But the 30th day you can add those 22 minutes. So in other words, the 30th day is no longer gonna be eight hours, 48 minutes. It's gonna be rather um, eight hours. And then you have 22 minutes and 48 minutes is the 70 minutes. 70 minutes. And you know that this can be uh, further re uh, reduced as nine hours and 10 minutes. So in other words, every day you kept it as the same, but at the last one, you added up all the seconds and you put them together. And um, the reason why I bring this out uh, is because sometimes people don't get paid for partial seconds, partial minutes that they do. But if you constantly find yourself doing partial seconds, you can see the, in a way you're getting ripped off at the end of the day. Um, because those seconds are turning to minutes. Uh, practically I'm finished with this. I was just saying that, uh, mainly because I was thinking about gasoline, you know how gasoline, Sometimes it's listed as one gallon of gasoline is like four dollars and thirty three cents, and then they say something like ninth of a tenth, something like that. And they don't really, they can't really sell you that. And what they're doing is they pocketing in that money, you know, over many gallons. Uh, that adds up, you know, just like it did over here over the forty four seconds. At the end of the day, at the end of 30 days, it added up to 22 minutes. And 22 minutes compared to 44 seconds that you throw in away every day in a way 
it had it adds up, right? Doesn't it? Likewise, gasoline, you know, they, they I just, you know, I noticed that, but I'm not gonna go into further detail, but I noticed that they can't serve you nine tenths of gasoline or they, they can't charge you nine tenths of a gasoline. So they're keeping the amount of money for themselves. And as more customers come in, come in, the money that they're keeping for themselves is adding up and adding up and adding up. Um, but anyways, going off of a tangent here. I'm finished with this. Uh, anyways, all right.